I'm gonna show you exactly what I have left and then bring you on the journey to hopefully take the rest of it out, comb the rest of it out, if not watch me shave my head. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I started combing out my locks seven weeks seven weeks ago which makes no sense because look at me <laughs> like look at how much i have left to go all i can say is that it is a process and i was obviously underprepared and you know what like i have to be honest i keep this close by because i'm just tempted to you know just solve it i'm going to document the rest of this this is part of my motivation to help me keep going so I don't chop it all off because I'm real tempted, like real, really tempted. Okay, so this is where we are. Like I said, I have half of my hair done already, taken out. Obviously the back half, <laughs> the front half still looks like this. What I've been doing actually is as I've been taking out a lock or a few locks, I twist my hair to keep it from getting tangled. So you can see these are twists, not locks. And this... <laughs> This hang time says, let's just say your girl was feeling herself. If you have ever felt like, like, oh my gosh, I cannot get my hair to grow. You understand why this makes me so happy. But let me show you what the back looks like. Um, most of these are twists. There are still a few locks in here. Um, but most of these are twists. And yeah, we have the front to do. My goal for taking out the rest of my hair is to get it done in four days because I'm going out with a friend in a few days and I can't look like this, you know? If all else fails, there are head wraps, but ideally I will have handled this. Okay, so I'm just starting out by taking out my twists in the back so you can see what my loose natural hair looks like after taking out my locks. I haven't washed it or anything. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like right after taking it out. And I also wanted to share why it's taking me so long to do this. I'm a stay-at-home mom and I basically use my daughter's nap time and bedtime to take down my hair. Uh, there are some days when I just did not touch my hair. Um, we traveled to some other things, so there were weeks where I only touched my hair like once or twice. So if you have locks or you're thinking about getting them, don't let my timeline dissuade you. And to be clear, like it will still take you a long time and it's a tedious process, but it does not have to take you seven weeks. Like that's, that's still ridiculous. Um, okay, so I've finished taking out my twist in the back and I'm having way too much fun, obviously. Like I didn't realize how much I missed my loose natural hair until today. I'll tell you why I'm combing out my locks in a few, but I was hesitant to do it. But your girl is having zero regrets right now. Okay, so here is what we are using. I have my spray bottle, which actually I use this in the middle of the process, but when I'm first starting to take down a lock, I actually just take the lock itself and hold my head under the sink and get it drenched, like as wet as I can get it because that makes it easier to start the process. And then I'll use this throughout the process and sometimes end up putting my head back under the sink just because the wetter it is, the easier it is. Um, rat tail comb to gently uh, comb out the lock, some cheap conditioner. You're gonna use a lot of it, so you obviously don't wanna use like your favorite conditioner. Um, so I'm just using my daughter's Cantu conditioner and that's been working for me. I didn't wanna go out and buy anything, but I've also been using Detangler. So I'm just using the, I have no idea how you pronounce this last name, but I say Talia Wahid or Talia Wajid. I've been using this detangler and it's been helping a lot. It adds some extra slippage just to make it easier to take the lock down. That's the equipment, that's the toolage that we're using to get this process done. So I'm going to show you how I do one lock. Okay, so off camera, I wet my hair under the sink. Now I'm just going in with a spray bottle, uh, wetting it again, and then conditioner, <laughs> a little too much conditioner. And I'm going to coat the lock in that and that just helps make the hair softer, which makes the entire process easier. I saw another video where someone tried to do it without wetting her hair and using any conditioner. Yeah, that did not go well. So we just coat the hair in conditioner. Um, I like to wet it again. Again, the wetter it is, the easier it is. And then once it's wet, I can go in with my comb and I'll just start at the very end and you're just trying to loosen the hair. And so you take the tip of the comb 
uh, you want to start at the very bottom if you go up too high you're going to get knots in your lock so you want to start at the very bottom you just start loosening it and then as you get a piece uh, loosened you go up a little bit up a little bit up a little bit um, so you can see why this process takes a long time like if my locks were any longer than they were I would have had to cut my locks in order to comb some of it out because it would have just taken too much time fortunately for my length i was able to do all of this without cutting but yes that's the process so i'm going to show you uh, what this looks like i'm going to speed it up so that you can see it and in the meantime i'm going to tell you why i decided to comb out my locks so the first reason i decided to comb out my locks is because i wasn't in love with the size let me rephrase that i hated the size of my locks they were different sizes like in the front of my head i would have one very large lock and one very small lock it just wasn't uniform and that's not a look that i prefer and then in the middle of my hair where my hair is more dense anyway i had these huge bulky dense locks which some people love but that's just not my preference and the second reason was that i had really bad postpartum shedding so you can see in the front of my hair i have two short like flat twists in the front i was standing in the bathroom one day bro and like a lock just fell out <laughs> it was so sad but yeah postpartum shedding is a thing and so no matter how much i would like i'd get retwists but because the hair in the front of my head was so short within a couple weeks or so the front of my hair just always looked untidy and i hated that so my third reason is just that i went through um some very hard seasons while i had locks so um i went through a miscarriage in my second trimester of my previous pregnancy my sister died unexpectedly and i was low-key high-key just depressed for like a good period of time and i was not taking care of myself certainly wasn't taking care of my hair and so my hair just over time started to look very dull just it didn't look good so those are the three reasons i decided to take out my locks and i'm looking forward to the next chapter okay so it took me about 40 minutes like i said well, a little under 40, maybe like 30, 35 minutes to do one. Um, and then this is about how much hair I'm uh, taking out per lock. And obviously this is dead hair that couldn't shed because it was locked up, couldn't get it out. We're going to do some more of these, but as you can see, 35 minutes for one lock. You can see how this would take a, a hot minute. So I'm going to take out some more and I will be back. Okay, so it is now Sunday and here, so it's seven days since the last time I recorded. Here's where we are. The back two thirds of my hair are officially taken out. But as you can see, we still have all of this that we need to do. Bruh, let me tell you, okay? Real close, real, real close. So now that I'm in the front, the locks in the front of my hair are smaller than the locks in the back. So I started on these last night. These, this is a joined lock, first of all, which makes me very nervous because it gets very thin up here. Um, and joined locks are just much harder to take out. I started taking this out last night. I spent about 30 minutes on each lock. And this is how far I got. Like, this is, this is how far I got. It just, it's taking me a lot longer to do these smaller locks. So I think what I'm going to do is, I got found this on Amazon and this is a conditioner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drench my hair, the front of my hair, condition it, um, put a shower cap on just to let the conditioner sit in my hair for at least an hour and then come back and see if that makes a difference in how easy it is to take out the rest of my locks. We made it y'all, we made it. So originally, when I started this video, I had a third of my head left about, and I wanted it to take four days, it took two weeks. <laughs> but let's start, I'm going to show you guys what my hair looks like. I haven't washed or anything, so I finished taking it out yesterday. And before I could like film or anything, I just had to sweep. I had hair everywhere in my house, it's so gross. <laughs> so I had to sweep, do some deep cleaning, vacuuming, and just get up 
all of the shed hair. Um, and I'll insert a clip of some of the hair. I, because I was doing it over a few nights, I was like throwing it a few nights, several weeks, several weeks. Um, I was throwing my hair out as I went and I haven't detangled or anything yet. So you can see that I have some knots in my hair. My hair is dry and dirty and needs to be washed. But I figured we would just take a look at what's what. I cannot wait to wash this. So I think I'm just gonna be a loose natural for a while, or maybe a straight natural, just hop on the silk um, press train because I don't want to have to. Y'all look at this. This makes me so happy. I know I'm gonna have to cut my, trim my ends, um, and that's gonna take away some of the length, but nevertheless, um, I'm really happy with how much length I was able to retain and my hair is still relatively thick you know I didn't have a lot of shedding I was nervous about that because um, I had postpartum shedding which I shared with you guys so I wasn't sure <laughs> what was going to be left once we started combing this out but here we are Ugh. let's see This is the back. Your girl's done. We didn't have to use the clippers. We didn't have to shave it off. We were close. We were close, but we didn't have to go there. So I'm grateful for that. Uh, please make sure that you like this video and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.